Bam Bam here with Dan the Rocks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the UFC 293 press conference in beautiful Sydney, Australia. We brought a stacked card for our first show in Sydney since 2017. Let's get things started with our main card opener, taking place in the light heavyweight division. Up first to the stage, a finisher with seven stoppage wins and eight career victories. Representing Sweden, Anta, the Pleasure Man, Turkali. And his opponent, an Australian staple in the UFC. He's won all nine of his professional fights by knockout or submission. Fighting in his hometown of Sydney, Australia, please welcome to the stage, Tyson Pedro. Up next, we have unfinished business at heavyweight. Up first to the stage, he has a 100% finish rate in 12 career victories. Five of those wins have come in two minutes or less. Please welcome the former NFL defensive lineman, Austin Lane. And his opponent, an Aussie knockout artist who has the power to end any fight with one strike. All six of his wins have come by knockout, four of them in the first round. Please put your hands together for Justin Badman Tapa. For our next bout, we move to the flyweight division. Up first to the stage, an undefeated 22-year-old prospect taking on ranked opposition in his UFC debut. Looking to pull off the biggest win of his career, please welcome Felipe Dos Santos. Standing across the octagon, a top 10 flyweight who's making a run to the top of the division. Six of his last seven wins have come by way of knockout. Looking to make it four wins in a row on Saturday night, Manel Starboy Cop. We continue with some intense heavyweight action in our co-main event. Up first to the stage, he's a staple of the top 10 in the UFC heavyweight division. Coming off back-to-back -back TKO wins over Alexander Romanov and Jarzinho Rosenstrike. Please welcome to the stage, Alexander Drago Volkov. His opponent needs no introduction in these parts. Carrying on the lineage of great heavyweight Australian fighters. One of the most exciting fighters in and outside of the octagon. Fighting out of New South Wales, Sydney. Get your shoes out for Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa. Moving on to our main event of the evening. Up first to the stage. He's willing to fight any place, any time. Coming off back-to-back -back main event victories. And now he looks to make history on Saturday night by coming home with the middleweight title. Please welcome to the stage, Sean Strickland. And now, he's a UFC megastar. kick off his second reign as champion with a bang. Making his first UFC appearance in front of the Sydney crowd, chasing history as one of the great martial artists of all time. He is the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the lifestyle vendor, Adesanya. All right, Sydney, Australia, how about this energy is absolutely crazy in here today. Thank y'all for coming out to the UFC 293 press conference. I'm John Anik up here in for Dana White today. And we are thrilled to be back in Sydney for the first time in six years. As some of you know, 
UFC 293 will be the first of three blockbuster UFC pay-per-view events to be held here in the Harbor City over the next four years. And we would all like to thank the New South Wales government for its support in bringing UFC 293 to Sydney, home to the best fight fans in the world. Also want to let you know the pay-per-view, of course, is Saturday in the States, Sunday here in Sydney, and you can watch it on ESPN Plus in the U.S. and on Main Event and KO here in Australia. All right. With that, we are ready for our first question. Oscar, where are you? Israel, this is a question for you. You know, this card has been built around you, and I'm curious, how does it feel now, knowing the fight is just days away, to feel that you brought this back to Sydney? I don't think I did. I think we did. We've got Ty Tuivasa, Tyson Pedro, Carlos Alberg, City Kickboxing, Australia, New Zealand in the house. I don't think it's just me. I think we did this. When I win, you win. We all win. Yesterday, you said that Sean Strickland was dangerous because he had nothing to lose. But technically, where does he present you dangerous in the cage on fight night? Right now, right here. I don't really see anything that he has for me that I haven't seen before. But yeah, uh, he is a dangerous man because he has nothing to lose and everything to gain. So I've taken him seriously for this camp. And I'm going to show you guys Sunday afternoon. There's been some suggestions that this is an easy fight for you. I don't know if there are any easy fights in the UFC, but for you, how do you see this fight playing out and what do you think you will be able to show the Sydney fans? I will show you guys a, a, a showcase, but for now, this is all fun and games. Who wants to see a fight? Question for Sean Strickland. Sean, you know, you have a chance to win the world title. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! God damn, you guys are fucking awesome. All right, sorry about that. Let's, let's get to the question. You have a chance to win the world title this weekend, but I wonder how much more it would mean to take it off someone that people consider one of the greatest of all time. Here's the thing about the China man, you guys. No, oh, no, get hats off to the fucking China man. He's a bad motherfucker. I think we can all agree that he's a bad motherfucker, and there's no easy way through the China man. But hey, you guys, I'm up for it. You guys fucking motivate me. It's gonna be fucking awesome to bring the belt back to the States. Fucking no more painted fucking nails, no more dog collars for fucking you guys. Let's fucking go. Sean, sure, you know, you talk a lot ahead of your fights and you say a lot of things about your opponents, but is there anything about this that feels personal to you? No, man, I mean, at the end of the day, dude, fucking. The cringe lord is he, bro, as long as fucking Peter doesn't come fucking rush the stage, man. Fucking Izzy's a bad motherfucker, man. He has all the knockouts. But the fucking cringe lord, man, I like him. We'll have a good war. It'll be fun. Come on, Izzy, give me something, bro. What the fuck? When you argue with a fool, those who are watching can't tell who's who. Oh, there we go. Hey, you know what? You know what, man? The moment I post the video of me jerking off my fucking dog, they will, they will put some credibility to that. Fucking puppy porn, man. I had to double check that shit just to make sure it was legit. And it was legit. I followed Izzy for like a quick second just to double check. Motherfucker's real. Points from an L cop. Obviously, it's, it's, you've had difficulty get finding opponents that will stay healthy up to the finish line, so you almost didn't make it this time either. How nervous were you that you wouldn't be able to fight here in Sydney? First of all, where is my Lebanese people? Make some noise. Make some noise, my Lebanese people. Let's go. We are here, Sydney. Uh, unfortunately, Kakara France is a bitch. The fucking bitch is in front of me. And you are fucking guilty because Sunday, this is gonna be a good murder. You know? Because you, you hey, fucking. Calm down, pussy. calm down, calm down. You fucking pussy. Feliz man, yeah. I'm afraid yeah. because. Uh, no, oh, you yeah. get accused. You have uh, three weeks to fight me. You little fucking pussy. Look at you. You have the chorus to come oh, here. On the stage. Yes, yeah, stand up, motherfucker. Stand, Let's go the fuck up. stand the fuck up, motherfucker. What you want? What you want? What you want to? What you want? All right, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck down. Sit down. Your thing is with Shrigo. Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. Shut the fuck down, yo. Shut the fuck up. 
upset for Sit down, bro. Your tight ass car was giving you a brain. Sit the fuck right. down. Sit the fuck yeah. down. What the fuck? Get your ass what? Sit the, sit the fuck down, Look you Look at this kid. little midget trying to yeah, fuck yeah, with yeah, me. Yeah, I will yeah. fucking what bury you. What the fuck you are? What the fuck you are? Shut your mouth. Hey, hey, I'm hey, here, I'm here, relax, hey, 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 calm the fuck hey, down, that's I'm, not the I'm fight, dude, leave strong. the little man alone, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm calm okay. down, guy. I'm okay. I'm, I'm supposed to be I'm the okay. asshole I'm here, Izzy, that's not your job. Hey, no business with him. Your fucking porn cartoon addiction. Final question from Manel. Obviously, you aren't fighting Kai, you're fighting Felipe over there. You tweeted this KO is going to be brutal the other day. So what are you expecting in your fight against Felipe? I don't expect anything for, for this kid. I know this kid is, is, is tough, bro. <laughs> Nothing special. He's just a kid who's going to be here and make his noise, you know? That's it. He's only a child. He doesn't know what to expect of him. He's a small guy. He doesn't know what to expect. He's only a child. Question, Felipe. I love it, love it, love it. I love the energy. Let's go. My mate hangs out with Lebos for two days and starts fighting everyone. Manel, Manel, I think you're talking about something you don't know. I just think you're talking about something you don't know, okay? What do I know? Let's go. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do? Let's go. What do I want to do? Just tell me. What am I going to do with you? What do I want to do with you? What do I want to do with you? Tell me. What can I say about this guy? Nothing. What can I say about this man? Nothing. Hi, Volkov! <laughs> My man. How are you? Question for... I don't understand, like, anything from all this happening. What's wrong with all these small guys? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have it with the size. Question for Felipe, back here. Uh, I do have to ask, you were supposed to fight on the Contender Series. Now you are fighting on the main card of a massive pay-per-view. So what has fight week been like for you in pre preparation for Manel? É, eu fiquei sabendo que você era para ter lutado no, nos contenders e você acabou passando para o UFC. É, o que, que você espera dessa luta? Ah, espero um grande show para vocês. Pode ter certeza, o público da Austrália aqui vai vibrar. Eu just pronto. expect a great show for you guys. You can expect the audience in Australia is going to vibe. Where's for Austin? Right here. Uh, you obviously supposed to fight Justin, you're supposed to fight him in your backyard at Jacksonville. Obviously, it ended the way you didn't want it to. You have to fly across the world to fight him in his backyard. So I guess, what are the emotions before you face off with Justin? Yeah, man, if we're being honest, I was expecting more like Rocky IV, you know, where the Russians booing me like this. There we go. That's a little better. But nah, man, I'll be honest, man, when I got out here, people have been nice to me, bro. People have been coming up to me, taking pictures and shit. Help me at the grocery store, help me pick out stuff. So I got nothing but love for y'all, man. Y'all can hate me if you want. I respect Justin, that's why I'm here, man. All right, I have to come over here and fight him again, but I want to fight him again, all right? That's what I'm going to do. Fuck all this TikTok bullshit, trying to start fights, bro. He's quiet, I'm kind of quiet. We fight, that's what we fucking do. And last one for me for Justin. What type of fight are you expecting from Austin on Sunday? All right, doesn't matter, bro. I'm coming for the knockout in that city. Question for Ty Tu of Asa. Ty, these are your people. This is your home. Uh, what's the energy like? For Sydney! <laughs> Fucking ish, I. Would you consider, we know the you know, last couple fights haven't gone your way, but is this victory going to be one of the greatest moments of your career, in your opinion? Yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. Uh, I've got a hard fight in front of me, but uh, we prepared well, and I'm going to come in and uh, you know, try and take uh, Volkov's head off. Just like he will be doing more. And for you, Alex, uh, obviously a big fight. You fought a lot of the biggest names in the heavyweight division already. How does Ty stack up in your mind? Um, no, I'm here to, to make a good show, you know? Like, he, he's a good opponent. I like his style of fighting. He is good stand-up fighter. Have a really uh, heavy punch. So it will be 
Uh, anyway, I, I was in flight. Uh, for sure, I'm coming to win uh, this day. Sorry of, of you, uh, everybody, guys. But uh, for sure, it will be a really good show for everybody of you. And one for uh, Anton Tricoli down there. Uh, Tyson seemed very amused yesterday by your nickname, The Pleasure Man. Can you tell us more about the nickname and what the fans can expect from you on Sunday? One more time, I didn't hear you. You want me to tell me you about my nickname? Yes. Oh, the best way is, is to, if you ask Tyson Pedro after a fight or you ask your wife. Tyson, your response to that? After my fight, the pleasure man. What am I supposed to say to the pleasure man? You're going to taste the pleasure. I'm pleasure gonna taste, me. I'm going to taste the pleasure man. That's what I'm going to do. Come on, cuz. What, what am I supposed to do with that? We're going to have a good fight. I want to, I would love fight of the night. He got fight of the night last time. So I want to do it in front of Sydney. But I definitely don't want to taste the pleasure man. And just one for you, uh, Israel. We've seen some of the photos of you from your photo shoot. You're going to be wearing the red mist shorts, as you put it. Can you tell us the significance behind those? Just fashion, to be honest, and it kind of plays into the whole history of my time in China. And also, I want to say, shout out to Sifu Philip Lam, one of the legends in this game. Stand up, Sifu. He, without him, New Zealand wouldn't have Muay Thai. And a lot of us have deep ties to China for over 58 years because of him. He's going to turn 80 in two years, and he's going to retire. He's a fucking legend in this game. I don't want to give you a history lesson, but it's all divine timing. It makes sense. So, ni hao, Sifu. Why ni? This question's for Sean Strickland. Sean, the last time there was a 93 in the UFC card numbers, it was UFC 193. Uh, that night, Holly Holm shocked the world and defeated Ronda Rousey. What makes you believe uh, you can come in on Sunday and shock the world against Israel? You know, guys, man, it's a uphill fight. Tall man, tall kickboxer, dude, but... I'm ready to give it to the fucking gods to fight the fucking China man, dude. I'm ready to embrace the Bisbing to give up the fucking eye. I'm ready to give what it fucking needs to give. Because not only do I represent America, but I represent you guys. I represent you motherfuckers. Anytime some shit goes down, I always use my fucking platform to talk for you guys. When you guys are throwing pregnant women in fucking jail, I use my platform to talk about you guys. When China's putting people in fucking camps, I use my platform to talk about fucking China. What I don't do is I don't use my platform to fucking sell out and make money. So you guys, when I walk into that fucking cage, you guys, you guys fucking fuel me, man. I want to go in there and I want to win that fucking belt for you guys. And I want to bring some fucking pride back to the middleweight the fucking division. So, man, I got what it fucking takes, and I'm fucking ready. Uh, question for Israel. Israel, Sean said yesterday at the media day that he's going to embrace his inner Kelvin Gastelum. Um, do you believe he has that ability to show that fight that, that you had with Kelvin many years ago? Yeah, I think he has the ability, but he doesn't have the chin. Kelvin's a Mexican, so uh, they're built different. But when you talk about... You know what? I'll leave it at that. I don't think he has the chin. He just has the gas tank, maybe. Last one. Uh, question for Manel. Manel, is it fair to say that you get through... Huh? What? Is it fair to say that with a win on Sunday, uh, you'll be chasing that fight with Kai next? I'm very, I'm very happy. I'm super happy to fight a Sunday, uh, on a Sunday. Uh, I just believe that uh, next fight I fight for the, for the title. But after that, I want that man, the guy got a friends. You know? I want this man. You, you run away from me. You run away from me. Your coach say that you guys should be in through the injuries. So, better. Better you come into your injuries, okay? This is what your coach say. You guys have to have the mentally of the champion. So you guys have to go into the injury. What happened to you? You know? It's the question. Vocês vão ver sábado, vocês precisam ter a mentalidade de campeão. Eu vou jogar um jogo, eu vou fazer uma luta legal no sábado. Tem que ter mentalidade de campeão para ganhar, vocês vão ver.
Então, posso falar pra vocês que eu tô aqui, eu vi vários caras correr, né, pra lutar. E eu tô aqui, eu vim provar isso, eu vim mostrar isso pra vocês. Can tell you guys that I'm here. I made a cut. I saw so many guys trying to, but I'm here. I'm gonna prove you all. It's gonna be a fight. Question for Israel. Israel, back in 2019, when you last fought in Australia, you delivered a devastating knockout. Is history gonna repeat itself this Sunday? And does this fight show the next evolution of Israel Adesanya, the, mux, the mixed martial artist? Last time I did a cool dance, then I knocked him out. This time I'm gonna knock him out and do another cool dance. Hey, he's gonna hold up a Chinese flag and fucking swear allegiance to the CCP, man. Fucking grow a pair of fucking nuts and grow a fucking spine. You don't even he's represent your country when you sell out. When did you sign a Monster Energy? When did you sell your soul? Tell me. Hey, you you know, signed your soul recently, you know, right? You did. I ride motorcycles. Isn't it funny, Isn't it funny like that, that anytime I have time. to fight someone, Monster signs them immediately and becomes a fan of them? You know why? Because I didn't sell out and I didn't sell my soul. What'd you have to do to that pig-headed fuck? Huh? What'd you have to do to sell your hey, soul to get that deal? Let me tell you something about, about my man Izzy. Let's talk about Izzy's last, last, last show out, right? Whenever, whenever Drake is one. Doesn't won. matter, I knocked him out. Let's he talk about, let's talk about whenever Drake is one. Izzy is on a world stage, world stage, and he goes up in the cage to call out Drykus and he fucking race baits him. Like, literally, bro, that's your message? You race bait him? And not only that... You're a neo-Nazi. The fuck are you talking that, about? Not only that, not only that, you guys, he wears a shirt to shit on his ex-girlfriend. This is the fucking kind of champion we have, and it's a goddamn shame. And hey, listen to what? Listen to what, you guys? Let me stand up for this. I'm gonna be honest. When I was younger, when I was younger, bro, I went through some traumatic shit, as we all did, man, from seventh grade, but I fucking learned my lesson. And as a fucking man, as a man, I'm a better man for it. I live a good life, I do fucking good things. I'm not jerking my fucking dog off, swearing allegiance to China, shitting on my ex-girlfriend. So again, man, people can change, I have fucking repented. God damn, I'm proud of who the fuck I am. Are you proud of who you are? And question for Tyson. Tyson, these are your people, the fans of Sydney love to see you back here. I have to know this weekend, does that support inspire you to deliver the performance of your career? 100%, I've been thinking about it every day. Uh, I'm happy to be home, this is my first UFC fight in Sydney, so it's for you guys. Question for the champion, Israel. Uh, tell me, are Sean's words affecting you at all? No. He said yesterday that he's more Australian than you. Would you agree with that? Yes. And more New Zealand. And more New Zealand. Hey, I'm a Chinese champion. I'm a South African champion, a Brazilian champion, a New Zealand champion. That's what's called being a world champion. And that is never going to go away. That's a world champion. So he can be whatever he wants. And yeah, you know, I think some people are still salty about UFC 243. But hey, Ray, man, raise Michael, the we fucking made flag. Denounce who you are. We've all fucking seen it. Izzy's a champion. Tell your champion. soul again to Monster. Tell him how you did it. Hey. Tell him how you did hey, it. Listen, I'm not going to bring it up, listen, but you it's guys, okay. Listen, you guys. Sunday, I'm going to knock this motherfucker oh, out. Yeah. That's all I give a fuck about. Yeah, you'll fucking do it for China. You'll do it for fucking China, you we'll fucking coward. We'll do it coward. for China. You I will do it coward. for Sweet Philip Lamb. I told Sweet Philip I'll knock you the fuck out, and I will knock you the fuck out. And at the day, you're still gonna have to look in the mirror and know that you're a little and bitch. And you sold your soul for Monster. You sold your soul to that Monster. Hey, listen, you guys, I can look in the mirror and be happy. Give me a fucking dirt bike. I fucking love Monster, bro. I'm in line with Monster. These motherfuckers backflip motorcycles. They can't. I'm in my no prime. Way. I am in my prime. Yeah, I'm your fucking prime, dude. Calm down, fucking China man. Is Israel, I'm curious, how does your dislike for Sean compare to the likes of Costa and Vittori? I don't really dislike him. He's just annoying, that's all. But again, this is it. This is his moment. Sunday afternoon, it's my moment.
quick one for Ty. Will you offer Alex a uh, shoey after the fight? Yeah, why not? And just last one, uh, do you and Izzy have a bet going at all on the Warriors-Panthers game? What, what's that, sorry? Up the wires. Go the Panthers. Bro, everyone knows Warriors lost Sean Johnson. They're no good. This one for Tyson Pedro and also Ty Tuivasa. You mentioned how important it is for you to be representing your hometown of Sydney, but specifically Western Sydney, and I'm sure there are plenty of people in this building who are from Western Sydney. How much does it mean for you to represent your people here this weekend? This is the best thing ever, man. You know, drink West. Ireland! West, baby! Do that, <laughs> I reckon there's going to be a lot of loose cuts on Sunday. <laughs> Roll in from Saturday, Sunday, then back to Pampers. All right, last call. I think that's going to do it. Can't thank you all enough for the energy. We're going to stare these fighters down. We will see you for the weigh-in tomorrow and, of course, Sunday morning. Thank you all for coming out. Stand by. Hey, thank you motherfuckers, man. Thank you for letting me in this country. Let's fucking go to war, China, man.
Let's go fucking New Zealand. My fucking people. Now we do it every fucking... I don't want the cringe to rub off on me. Just wash your hands before we fight. We've seen where they've been. You want to stay down? We're good. How we do it, stay down? We're still down. Get out of here!